so you can see on the floor I have a 2x4 for stabling the engine so it does not flip over with us while turning these bolts now this bolt here is going to be a little difficult so you're going to need a long handle ratchet I like to use this with a socket just place it on the end This is where you're going to learn technique. It's not just turning the bolt off. You have to hold the engine and then you have to apply muscle to it for getting these bolts off. Now we have a 12 bolt and a 10 at the rear of that bracket that we took off okay so we have successfully removed the cover without damaging it looks pretty good inside that's the oil pump and that's an o-ring that sends the oil into the block put this to the side Now we just want to get a look at this here on some of these engines I believe on the one before the 2007 this tensioner will be able to access from the outside which means you don't have to take this cover off to gain access to this tensioner there are two bolts that will be on the outside here that you will be able to remove and take the tensioner out in this case since this engine is a 2007 and newer, it will require removal of the cover to change this tensioner should the chain become slack. Now this chain is very tight from what we can see here. Let's take a look at removing this tensioner. back there that's for the oil pressure to enter this so it can extend now you have a little lever here you press it in and it brings the tensioner back once you take your hands off the lever 